At the first sprint meeting of the Vintage Sports Car Club since the war, famous racing driver George Abercassy, with his equally famous car, turns up to compete against many other well-known enthusiasts in the good old pre-war style. The club was formed by people who liked to own machines of the highest quality, but couldn't afford the best modern examples. Its members went for the best racing models of the 20s. More up-to-date models have been added since, but many of the old faithfuls are still wheeled out to do their stuff. A lot of cars on the road claim to be sports cars, simply because of a noisy exhaust, a lot of club badges and a flying helmet for the driver. But the vintage club doesn't go in for such schoolboyish things, and its members ought to know including as they do such famous names as Dorothy Patton and that other well-known woman driver, Mrs. Gerard. John Bolster usually turns up at meetings in his vintage car that enthusiasts know by the name on the bonnet. Bearded Dennis Jenkinson and other well-known racing wizards such as Anthony Heal never miss a meeting. The course is 440 yards and the competitors run in pairs. such as this, organized by the Vintage Sports Car Club and the Ducati Owners Club, show that these veteran cars can still do their stuff against any models of this atomic age. 